Good morning, Bridge Church. Uh, I hope you're all doing well and and really just uh, keeping in a really good place with God. I wanted to share with you something this morning from really uh, some some sermons I've been listening to, and, and it's about shaking things off. Really, uh, it's stuck with me this word for two, three, four weeks. In fact, I haven't been able to shake off the word, but that's what God's word sometimes does to you. And it's really uh, thinking about what happened to Paul when he was on his way to Rome. And you may remember that uh, they left Fair Havens and he didn't want to, uh, he didn't think it was the right time to be sailing because it was the stormy season and there was the shipwreck just off the island of Malta. Uh, there was so much happened there and uh, Paul uh, had to speak to the centurion in charge who was going to kill all the prisoners because he thought they'd escape and uh, amazing things. I mean, he basically had been visited by an angel and said, not a single hair on anyone's head is going to be harmed. And all of them came ashore on Malta. And the really important thing for me in all of this was they came ashore on Malta and uh, people on the island were very kind to them. They built a huge fire and, and welcomed them. And Paul went off and collected some brushwood. And in the middle of that brushwood was a viper, a poisonous viper, which latched itself onto his hand. And I think one of the things that I've been learning is, you know, a lot of things can latch themselves onto us. If we're not careful, words that are spoken over us, thoughts that enter our minds and we don't capture them and send them away, build strongholds. And there are things that we need to get rid of, to shake off, as Paul shook off the viper into the fire. And one of the most amazing things there as well is that <clears throat> Obviously, all the people that were there from Malta saw this viper latch on to Paul and said, oh, he must be a murderer. You know, he's escaped from the sea, but the gods are going to punish him now. And this is the quick rush to judgment that people often make of us. And sometimes we need to really just reflect and shake that off. Shake it off because our God is a consuming fire and we can shake that ill will, ill thoughts, words spoken over us. We have to shake them off and not let them latch themselves onto us like that viper latched onto Paul's hand. You know, uh, and, and the amazing thing is the viper latches on so quickly, you know, and some of these things that are said, spoken or pointed at us uh, latch on so quickly. But the people were watching him for a long time afterwards, expecting him to swell up and to basically die from poison. And isn't that amazing? You know, judgment and condemnation can come quickly. But sometimes it takes a while for people to realise that they reached the wrong conclusion about you. And it's how you live your life how you shake off those uh, those words, those thoughts, those condemnations. And the wonderful thing is not only did Paul shake them off, he overcame, he wasn't affected at all by the viper bite. And in actual fact, the view of the Maltese people changed and they wanted to identify him as a god after that. But the great thing is Paul carried on being who he was in Jesus and in the power of the Holy Spirit. He went to the official, uh, the chief official on the island's house, Publius, and basically his father was then in bed with fever and dysentery, prayed for him and healed him. And then other people on the island, the rest of those people who were ill, all came to him for healing. So that act of shaking off, shaking off the attack, shaking off those words is so important. And we can do that in and through the name of Jesus. You know, it may seem a bit weird, but when I first read this, I was actually, or listened to this, 
I, I, I was in a field and I actually stood in the field and shook, shook it off. And maybe that's what we should do as a prophetic act, to shake off anything which has attached itself to us and to free us so that we can move forward in the righteousness of Jesus and really continue our ministry. So I urge you and pray for you that you will be blessed in shaking off any of those attacks and that you will move forward in your ministry in whatever way that is. I bless you and I thank you for each and every one of you in the name of Jesus.